opening the labor conference at lucknow mr jawaharlal nehru said i'm glad to be present at this conference it will be out of place to talk of revolution here it has become almost a habit <coughs> with us to repeat old grievances and tell old tales i do not mean that we should not persist in writing wrongs though old they be but we must at the same time be alert and <coughs> keep our heads on our shoulders this country belongs to all of us before we attain independence our main object was to drive the foreigners out of this land we talked of social and economic reforms then too but our struggle at that time was mainly political after attainment of independence economic and social problems have begun to loom large before us there may be differences of opinion about these problems but the question is how to solve them we talk of rapid reforms but our chief defect is that we are more given to talking about things than to doing them we seem to think that social and economic reforms can be achieved merely by resolutions or legislations you ought to give thought to your problems but i should ask you to broaden your vision and think of india of bharat mata as a whole who is bharat mata it is you the people and the question before us is how to raise the economic standard of the nation giving government jobs to a few people will not solve the problem of the crores of indians who are unemployed it is not possible for the government to find employment for everyone if unqualified are employed the country will suffer let all those who are engaged in an occupation do their jobs well for production is proportionate to the work done the prosperity of a nation depends on its capacity for production and on a rational distribution of wealth in order to assure assure the latter we must get rid of all the present defects a revolution cannot increase our wealth which really calls for hard work after the revolution of 1917 the russians had to work very hard before they could reach their present position they had their five year plans and labored with diligence and patience for them the people gladly endured hardship and suffering so that the foundation of their republic may be true and strong the russian revolution took place 35 years ago and it is only now that the people are beginning to gather the fruit of their labors for the first decade they had to work and suffer more than they did under the old regime but 
they had courage and confidence revolution can remove an old regime but it cannot make a nation wealthy overnight to improve their lot the russians toil and sweat and have now come in to the on our greater responsibility today is to give every child boy or girl equal opportunity my heart saddens when i see our young children going about half naked and half starved it is our duty to supply them with proper nourishment and clothing we have a glorious past and our history goes back thousands of years but our civilization had its evils also the caste system all over the country we must draw lessons from our past and rise to new heights